it certainly is a warm one. Oh my. Anyways, we are now through the, what well, I disparagingly referred to sometimes as the ditch. We are out of locks, out of the system, and I was just doing a count in my head, sitting in the last one. And for this voyage, that's 32 lockages. Not bad. Of course, the record still stands from 2019, where we did that whole season, uh, 90 lockages. We're probably around 40, 45 so far for the season. Hope to uh, do a few more. So now that we are getting off the system, got maybe another half a mile of drive through here. And we're back on Lake Simcoe, and I'm gonna put the hammer down and once we get back to the marina, get the uh, mouse traps, and then I have one more project to do, and that is take these side curtains in, the side and the front curtains. Uh, we're taking back to Craig at Canadian Yacht Tops, and uh, the reason that I'm taking them in because they <laughs> they look terrible. Do you want to join in on this, honey? I don't know what the hell you did. <laughs> uh, long story short, I cleaned them with Vim, and if you don't know what Vim is, it's Where an are you it's Where an abrasive even... cleaner. I had it in my hand and I was with doing... With a scrubby brush. With, with a scrubby brush. So, wow. It made them super clean. Hmm. <laughs> but they're no, all... it didn't. So bottom line is they are all scratched to shit. I am taking them to Craig. Anchor Girl and I will, once we get the mouse trap set up in there, because we got to get the little kitty cat off the boat, take him home, and then um, we'll and do you that. you can explain to Craig what happened. Yes, I will explain to Craig what happened to him. So maybe I'll get a shot of Craig and he can he can shake his head. But that said, uh, he promised that if I take him to him tonight, we can pick them up late tomorrow afternoon. And since it's so bright and sunny, I want to take advantage of that. Like I said, I'm going to do the canvas tomorrow, uh, do a thorough cleaning, and then we will um, pick up those side curtains. And they're going to look like brand new and put them on as well. So that is the plan for today head that way which is going to take about an hour and a quarter each way so being it's two o'clock now back to marina three so we should the timing should work out and then when we come back to the boat with any luck the traps will have set and caught something and then we will grab a little tiny whiny from home and then come back to the boat for the night so it's going to be still if we say two o'clock it's still going to be a long day for us I'll let you know how we made out. We've been up since 2 in the morning. Yeah, that's right. We've been up since freaking 2 o'clock in the morning. That's going to be a long day. This anchor girl just reminded me that there are three ice cold Coronas. Oh, yeah, Corona lights nice. in the fridge freezer back here in the cockpit. So she's going to take them out now because they will freeze solid. That fridge is awesome. It freezes. It freezes drinks, which is great. So uh, we'll see where we get to with that. Uh, whole scenario and um, I'll touch base with you a little bit later on. To share this because it was funny i just saw something swimming across the canal here and try to point it out to anchor girl she couldn't see it and i think it was just like a muskrat or a, a fuzzy creature uh that was across so i was just looking there and seeing if i could see it <laughs> so i suggested to anchor girl maybe we can catch a snake put it on the boat and let it catch the mouse <laughs> That was a no. <laughs> Stuck at the swing bridge again. This is twice this year. We're in luck. Did you eat your lunch? Yep. Was it good? It's really good. It's like dinner. <laughs> it was dinner. Okay, well that just added about 15 minutes or so to our timeline, maybe a little bit longer. I wasn't really, really paying attention, but we are at uh, 20 to 3 now. 
and uh, that is the second time if you recall that we got stuck at that swing bridge because of mechanical difficulties no fault of the staff uh, they were just commenting and they very gracious and very apologetic and of course it's not their fault um, it's old technology but they also said that there was an overweight limit truck that had just passed over there just before we got there so he probably compressed something or whatever but they got it going clearly and we're through and we're on to Lake Simcoe and so I'm gonna put all the hammers down and we will head to the marina and I just want to say look at how calm that lake is beautiful for all the wind that we've had the last couple days this lake is very placid it's nice to see Okay, onward and upward. Okay, returning to the scene of the crime. It's the next morning, coming back to check. We came here last night after dropping off the canvas pieces and there was no victims in the four. It's possible he ran out when we were at Well, I was thinking that too. Because we haven't had any sounds. Anyways, there was no, uh, no victims in the four traps that I set last night let's see what's going on today oh there he is ah oh, poor is little you, bugger? poor little guy poor Good. little dead mousey all right so that's a cleanup job and that's it yeah set four traps got you okay now how do you uh, let go of those Stick your finger in it. You go for it. No, put your toe on it. See what happens. I know what happens. I told you, I used to set these in the hardware store and walk away. Hey, shh, don't tell anybody that. Well, I can't say as I'm happy about that. Obviously, not happy about the whole situation, uh, given the fact that we've you know, we lost a day. But I know it's just a mouse, but still, it was a living creature, and it's a shame to have to kill it but it it left us no choice so now when i take my shoes and socks off how wrong is that wearing shoes and socks to the boat i can now like i say take the canvas off that's going to be today's job clean it thoroughly waterproof it put it back on and then we'll go back down the craigs and pick up the forward uh, pieces so it's going to be another busy it's going to be a full work day i still want to wash the outside of the boat because it's really dirty and I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that today or tomorrow. I might just leave that to for tomorrow because tomorrow is supposed to be a nice sunny day as well. Today is Thursday of our final week of holidays, which is so sad. But at least we had a beautiful sunny day. It's nice, warm, dry, which is the big thing. And there's no wind. So I'm going to get to it. This is going to take me couple hours for sure if not more it'll take me to the lunchtime it's about 9 30 in the morning so i'm gonna get at that project now my friends um, I finished doing the canvas waterproofing 
and got it back up and installed. Anchor Girl's doing a beautiful job cleaning everything up. The interior is beautifully, spotlessly smelling clean and clean and clean. Because of course, knowing that there was a mouse on the boat, every surface had to be cleaned with bleach. So that's all done. It's very nice, super clean. Uh, this all done, I just gotta, we're going for a pump out, yes, because we didn't have a chance yesterday on our way back home. Just figured we'd come to the marina, but it was getting late, so we're gonna do that right now, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, bottom line is, Okay, hold on, there's a sea dude coming towards it's not paying any freaking attention. So yeah, there's another pump out in the books and another great, great holiday. Uh, great boat cruise 2021. We agreed we're not gonna call it epic, but I'm gonna work on something a little bit different, hopefully next year. And um, but it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We are still, I mean, we're not boat, done boating just yet. It's only uh, the first week of August. So we'll have a couple more getaways. Hopefully I can uh, share some more of that with you. Anyways, coming back to our slip, that is it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a tally of the final hours of this trip, how many hours we put on the engine. Uh, starboard side engine is just shy of 1500 hours now. Too hot for that. And yes, still running like a charm, both engines. Zero issues, zero mechanical issues on this trip. Very, very happy. Like no water pumps breaking or water pipes bursting or anything like that. And the engines ran, as always, flawless. Very happy with that. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So again, like I say, thanks for following along. If you haven't watched the whole series, there should be a link down in the description. If not, just look at my playlist for the uh, Boat Cruise 2021 20, series, and you'll see all of it there. Okay, folks, that's it. Coming back to our slip. So I got to put this thing down. Thank you, as always. Look forward to your good comments, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers.